What's up dudes, Chooch, back with another video, and today I am the happiest man alive. I've been waiting on this thing forever. I finally got it in, the veteran Sherman guys, and dude, this box is the heaviest box I've ever... Dude, I don't know how the UPS or the FedEx man got it up here. I can't believe it, it came in relatively good shape, man, no problem. So FedEx took care of it, so if you're worried about that, I was. It being in the cold weather up in Frisco, you know, worried about the cardboard box getting a little bit wet and having a problem with it. Let's open this thing and check it out, dudes. Right here, and then slide it out because it's such a heavy wheel. So this is your charger right here, guys. So this this is the charger you get. Boom. I think this is a five amp charger right here, if I'm not mistaken. Veteran 450. Uh, this is a output of five amp, yeah, 100 volt five amp charger. So that's a sick. This is the stock charger that comes with that Veteran Sherman. This right here is a very nice charger, guys. This this is no joke. This is a good charger. So that's good. If they don't skimp on the charger, when you're getting a Veteran Sherman. So a lot of you guys out there that are getting your, a Veteran Sherman as your first wheel. You are spoiled, man, because it is a nice piece of equipment. You know, you might be um, put off by the, the crazy price tag of a wheel like this, but it's a nice piece of equipment, guys. I'm telling you. And I was just able to afford the dead cup thing. Nobody wanted to send me one because these things are expensive. But uh, I finally got it. I finally could get it. And for all you guys out there that have used the link, the affiliate link, all you guys out there that have, that have helped, you know, with the Amazon store, the clicking and buying your wheels to the links, you guys made this possible. I literally could not afford getting this wheel if y'all didn't do that because I didn't get this wheel sent to me. I've wanted it forever and I cannot thank you guys enough. I told you I'd put it back into the channel and I did. So this is all from you guys. Thank you so much. This is it, dude. This is crazy. Holy cow. Dude, and I've seen I've seen it in person, but dude, what? This is my baby now, dude. Look at this thing. Holy cow. This headlight, dude. This it is beautiful. I'm going to be like I'm going to feel like such a badass on this thing, dude. This is so awesome. Like this is this right here is a show wheel, man. Like you go somewhere with this thing, and you sit this up, dude. This this right here just looks good. This is quality. That thing is holy cow. It's hefty, man. That is awesome. This is beautiful. This is the coolest thing ever, dude. Holy shit. This is so awesome. Dude, this thing is nice. I don't regret getting it. I'm so glad I went through with getting it. It is awesome. This thing is beautiful. The tire looks perfect. This looks like the perfect tire that I would want for any unicycle out of the box. The headlight. Let me turn. I don't even know. This is... I'm shaking. I'm shaking. I'm shaking, dude. I've wanted this thing forever. I've wanted it for a year. This is epic. I, 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 I'm like, this is, this is, this is beautiful. This is such a sick piece of equipment. I have never seen such a rad unit. So this is epic. This is epic. Are these spike? Oh, damn it! I thought these were spike pedals. I was about to be really happy. But these are okay. So check it out. These, I'm like, I'm so thrilled, dude. This is nuts. This is nuts. This is nuts. These are the pads it comes with, the side pads. This is really good, guys. These are some. These are decent, decent side pads right here for sure. If you want to get some of the upgraded ones that I have linked below, definitely go with those. But these are decent out of the box right here. I can definitely tell just by looking at them, they're all right. 
Dude. All right. Turn it on. The veteran Sherman. So, all right. So when you get your wheel, your veteran Sherman, guys, check it out. You're going to go to try to turn it on when you first get it out of the box. And it's going to, you're going to press the button. And it's just, it's not going to do anything. So you're going to be like, all right, why is it making power and not cutting on? What you got to do is this. And I didn't even know this right here. Heck yeah, man. I'm excited. This is awesome. This thing is beautiful. All you people with the veteran Sherman, man, having it for a year, and I hadn't even had this thing. Dude, and like, I was just being patient. Like, I really was just being patient. I was like, all right, I got other wheels. I don't need to, to, you know, rush it or anything like that. And, but dude, I was missing out. This thing is sick. So, plug, I just plugged in the charger right here. Now let's plug it in back here. And check it out. All right. Is it, let's see. That's it. Oh yeah, baby! It's on now! <laughs> okay, so it works. That's it, what you gotta do. You literally just plug the charger in when you first get it out of the box. Plug your charger into the back, and then you can cut it on. So that's the way it doesn't... So whenever it's in that box, this 90 pound wheel doesn't just hit this button, and this thing doesn't come on and... <laughs> go ripping through the FedEx truck, bro. Cause this thing would, dude. This thing would take off through the FedEx truck, man. You'd have a problem on your hands real quick. It is a heavy wheel, but it's a narrow wheel, guys. So look, check it out. So it's a narrow wheel. Let's turn, let's turn our lights on. Oh my God. That is epic. What? So you just turn your lights on like this, dude? You got your full interface on this thing? Your trolley handle, dude. I'm in, in shock and you know, I can't. I'm. I'm sorry. I can't give y'all a good like. This is. This is beautiful. This is a piece of art. It's just like a rigid industries light bar, and the pedals feel perfect for my feet. Perfect for my feet. Oh my gosh, this thing is epic. It's perfect. It's perfect. It's balanced. Literally perfect. Like what? Used to grabbing a handle at the top right there. You know, I'm, I'm so used to those gotways for trail riding. If I got to go bail on a mountainside or something, so I think what I'll do, because I'm not going to put a seat on here, I think what I'm going to do is make some type of grab handle, because I do. Whenever I'm like, if I'm about to fall down a mountain or something, I usually just grab right here, and there's nothing to grab. So I'm going to make something right there. That's going to be my first thing. I'm definitely going to put some pads on this thing, some power pads on it. There's a lot of room, dude, for some nice stickers to go on the side of this thing. We're going to have to put some good stickers on this thing. I'll fit it with that. I'm going to open it up, and even though the bearings on this one are small, I'm going to go ahead and do the bearing treatment on this bad boy so we don't have any problems with rain. And then I'm going to go through the whole thing. I'm going to open the whole wheel up, guys, before I do anything with it. And just... And just um, I'm going to waterproof it. I'm going to do the same thing I did to the Bego because I've been really enjoying just sending that thing through mud puddles and, you know, snow and everything like that. So I'm going to do the same thing with this one, you know. And I spent a lot of money on this wheel and, um, you know, it was out of pocket. So I'm going to make sure that I do the water treatment on it and I'll make a video of that as well, you know. So whatever I feel like I should do to treat, treat this thing, um, I'll just go ahead and make a video on it, you know. And you, you don't have to follow the whole thing or even think it's perfect, but I'm just going to do what I think I should do for something I just paid uh, this much money for. So if it helps somebody, then it will help, you know. If, if, if some, one person gets something out of it, then that's a good thing. And I think it will help a lot of people. And we're also going to make a mud guard for the back of this thing. Um, those silicone bread loaf pans have been working really good for that wheel. You do need to drill it into the plastic, which some people might not like doing. Um, for it to last really because this is throwing so much water back here any adhesive or anything like that it's just going to come off so I usually just drill it in with some little um, some there are uh, little sheet metal screws you know that you can just drill right back there and I use a little um, silicone bread loaf pan and I put the bread loaf pan right there and then I cut the bottom of the bread loaf pan out and it's literally perfect to make a mud guard out and if it gets hit or anything like that the silicone just bends and then it pops back out and retains its shape all right, dude, so we're going to take a look around this thing real quick. This thing is beautiful. This, I mean, it is absolutely I mean, a piece of art. I'm so glad I got it. I was kind of debating whether or not to get it, but I'm really am. I'm glad I, I'm glad I got this for sure. 
This is sweet. Let's go around this whole thing. Give y'all a close up. You can plug in your backlight right here. You got two charging ports on the back. So you can charge twice as fast. Up here is your full digital display. I'm not gonna turn it on because it is up here in the stand. I'll turn it on in a second and show you that. Full digital display, check it out. So your headlight in here on the side, it flashes. It has almost like a, uh, it's pretty rad. It's like a pink flashing on the side, but it almost looks like a police lights on the side right here. This is like your rigid industries looking like light bar. I mean, this thing is intense, man. This is sweet. I love the modular headlight. Check out it. So you can plug this in right here. I assume you'll be able to. I, I assume you could probably get a different headlight or something like that and use that as a power source. This is your roll cage going around this whole thing right here. First wheel ever with a full roll cage on it, guys. And this is important. Now, I've even seen guys putting motorcycle sliders on here. So I've seen them putting, you know, the, um, the the bar sliders that you can put on a motorcycle. So if you go down, it's it's a it'll keep your your motorcycle from scraping the ground. And guys have put those on here too. So I think I might pick up some of those. So I mean, that that'd be awesome. That'd be really a good idea, I think. Going around here, the tire on this thing looks mean. It looks perfect. It looks perfect for road riding and the dual sport type riding that I like to do. Like it really does look nice and it looks perfect. I like these pedals on here a lot guys. These ped pedals are long skinny pedals. So you can really get a lot of acceleration out of these I feel like. I haven't taken it out yet but I really feel like you'll be able to pull some acceleration out of this thing like nothing else. This is your trolley handle up here on the top guys. Pull this thing out. Very tall trolley handle. It feels sturdy. I like that it's in the middle of the wheel. It really makes sense that it's in the middle of the wheel and not on the back. Um, and I also like the fact that you can pick up the wheel with both these handles right here because it disperses the weight well. One thing with the, with these other wheels is one people don't realize you're picking up the whole wheel with that shell and there's only a few screws really holding the other shell in here. So if you're picking it up by that handle, those heavier wheels, you know, you're probably loosening those screws over time. But with, with this design right here, it's a really good, good design being able to pick this up. It's a heavy wheel, but you can pick this thing up with that roll bar and it's not gonna, not gonna mess anything up. It really is a nice looking wheel. Walking through my kitchen and then the dining room is this. Hey. Veteran Sherman, baby. New Sherman? What? What is this? New Sherman? New Sherman? What? What? Let's go, baby. What? Dude. Let's go. This thing is sick. All right, so check it out. So this is your full LCD panel on the top right here. And this is really, really nice, guys. I've been messing with these unicycles a long time. And one thing, and everybody gets into them, they seem to just always be fooling with the app. And 
I never mess with the app. I usually just get it, set it how I like it in the app, and then I never touch the app again. And this is great for people like me that just want to grab and go. You got your full LCD display right here, guys, where you can work through everything. You can set your your uh, pedal angle, and by that, what I mean is your pedal calibration, whether you like to be leaned forward more, whether you like to be, be leaned back more. Usually you do all this stuff in the app, but you can do it right here on this, no problem. You don't have to fool with connecting to an app. It, say if you're in a place, like, like for instance, what happened to me one day with a camera I had, I bought one of the new um, 360 cameras, and then I ended up going somewhere where I literally uh, had to download the app and then I couldn't use the camera. So that's infuriating. This, you you can just pretty much get it and turn it on right there. You just need to plug it into a wall with the charger to unlock it, and then you're, you're squared away. So that's good. That's a really a nice feature right here, guys. Um, you can go through, you can turn your lights on and off right here. So just press that button right there. You turn your lights on and off. Hello, hello, hello. That's cool. That's like a Batman looking light on the back. I like that. All right, guys, so when you first get your veteran Sherman, what you're going to want to do right out of the box, you're going to get it. You're like, all right, what do I do? This thing's nuts. Let, what's going on? All right, you're going to want to plug it into the wall, first of all, with the charger to activate it so it's, it comes out of the box because that's what happens. That's how they ship it so it doesn't a uh, power button doesn't get hit in that heavy box and then it, it turn on in the box. So just plug it into the wall with the charger, press the power button, it's gonna unlock it, you're good to go, squared away. Now, let's rip through this manual right here. I'll make it easy for you guys. This is how this whole thing works. Your interface right here, this is your main headlight. Hold okay down. This is nice on here. Now this is gonna be setting your riding mode, whether you want it on medium, soft, or hard mode. Now I ride usually on all my other wheels on hard mode. What does this mean? This means basically, Whenever you're going to accelerate, it's the little bit of lag in there before it kind of takes off. Some people like it to be extremely firm, and that's what hard mode is. No lag, takes off, solid as a brick. This thing literally feels like it's a torpedo. Medium mode feels like a torpedo with a little bit of springs in it before it takes off. And so all it feels like, you know, a little bit of spring in it before it takes off. Go down to soft mode, and it feels like you got a little, like, it feels like you're about to take, I mean, if it feels like you got a little bit of, like spring internally in it before it launches. Best way to describe it, best way I can explain it. That's how you get it and you can kind of figure that out yourself. Very cool that you can do it right on here and not open the app. I hate fooling with the app. And then, okay, see how it's starting to turn a little bit on me? You see how it's starting to lean back a little bit? That's your pedal angle, guys. We're going in the negative pedal angle right here where it's tilting forward. So if you have a problem with getting on this after riding guideways and you're getting a little bit of pedal dip, you can just go right in here and change how this thing's gonna ride, the aggressiveness of it. This is awesome, this is huge, guys. And this is what you're paying for when you're getting this wheel. You're paying for quality, you're paying for the interface, you're paying for the lights, the features, everything. This is a total package. This is, this right here is a cool piece of technology, guys. This is no joke. This is no frills. This is not a toy. This is a cool piece of technology. Is that 34? We'll do that 34 right there just so we get a warning. You know, I don't want to turn the alarm all the way off. I got tilt back off, but I want my alarm warning at least, you know, so that lets me know something. It comes on there. All right, that's your backlight setting on this board. So this is what that mode does. That's your backlight setting on the board, scrolling through there. Sweet. You can change it. That's pretty bright, man, for that LCD screen. I'll keep it about like that. I mean, this thing feels like a tank. I mean, this feels like a robust, like, it feels like, I mean, definitely the most well-built unicycle by far. Like, by far. This roll cage thing is awesome. It looks good. It's the best-looking unicycle, I think. I mean, I think this honestly looks better than the S18. The King, This and the King Song S18 are the best two-looking wheels by far, I think. But, uh, and even that headlight is getting warm, dude. This thing's substantial. This is a substantial headlight right here, guys. Like, this is, that's no joke. That's awesome. It's your headlights on this thing. This thing is rad. This thing is seriously freaking awesome. This thing is freaking epic. Look at this. Check it out. Give her a ride through the house real quick. It's just probably not a good idea. But 
That one's right over here. Oh my gosh, it feels so good. It feels so good. Oh, getting used to it's gonna be weird, but dude, it feels so sick. Epic. Let's go. Yeah, I, mean, I need to take it outside. Freaking awesome. What, dude? Let me show you. Comes the light, baby. Turn on your front light. Hold down for your side lights. Dude, those are mean. That is so cool. That is so cool. Dude, if you just want to you could literally just put this in your living room to look cool. You, you never even wrote it. Like, this is awesome. Just to have the coolest piece of technology in existence right now. <laughs> that is awesome.